Hi, I'm Marilyn Wilson. I am the author of Life Outside the Box, The Extraordinary Journey of Ten Unique Individuals. I'm here today with Julie Salisbury. She's the founder of Influence Publishing and the Inspire Book Workshops. Uh, I have taken her workshops and it was crucial in helping me make my first book a reality. I've also published through Influence Publishing. So today we're here to just have a brief overview about the workshops coming up in case you're ready to start writing your first book. So Julie, can you share something about how you ended up founding these writing workshops? What is it you're bringing to the table? Okay, thanks Marilyn. <laughs> so, okay, well I guess it really started like more than 10 years ago right. when I self-published my own book. Um, I've been traveling around the world for seven years and I had a whole lot of people say, why don't you write a book about that? And I thought, well, I have no idea how to write a book and how to approach it. Um, but I have a background in product marketing, and, um, and that's all about bringing products to market. So I thought, well, I'll just apply the principles uh, of, of everything I know about bringing uh, a product to market and apply those same principles to a book, and how easy should that be? And so that's what I did. Um, so I went about writing a book in a rather different way to I guess that people usually do mm -hmm. um, in that I looked like you would for, for marketing product I look at you know who am I writing this book for and what do they want to know and then I sort of went backwards and started to create um, an actual curriculum of how you go about that process. What was your first workshop like? Do you remember it? Mm, I do. I remember it really well, actually, <laughs> because um, I didn't. I didn't plan to um, be a teacher, and I didn't plan to um, to to really start teaching these workshops. I just had a whole lot of people say, "Wow, you know, how did you do that? Can you show me how you do it?" And I was like, "Okay." So I started doing it at the community center, wow. uh, local community centers, and um, I think in my work, first workshop, I had like ten people. And um, everybody just found it so amazing. They said, wow, like I was in so much chaos. I just didn't know what to do with my book. Uh, you know, piles of journal notes and notes, and I just didn't know how to organize it. And so that kind of process then developed. And uh, I mean, I think I must have taught over a thousand people now. Wow, I was going to ask you. Yeah. That. Okay, I think people would like to know because your brand has expanded quite a bit in recent years. So, what are the three kind of workshops they can choose from? Mm -hmm. Well, the original workshop um, was a two-day workshop, and um, I actually had I changed the branding and called it an intensive mastermind, and that was because at the end of the two days, I had a lot of people saying. Phew, that was a lot of hard work. <laughs> and so I, I wanted people to understand, you know, yes, this is hard work. You mm -hmm. are, you know, really devoting two days to your book and working on your book. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of those two days, you have real deliverables. Like you walk out of that two day workshop and you know exactly what you're going to write, like chapter by chapter. I think I was up till one or two in the morning doing homework. Yeah, I told you it was intensive. Yeah, yeah, and, and <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, there's one really important thing to your workshops that people walk away from that most authors don't think about. What is that? You know, it's the marketing, and it's because I, I guess that's what really distinguishes what I do from other sort of book writing workshops or other writing workshops. Um, is that the marketing for me is. If you don't know who you're writing your book for yeah. and why you're writing it, you know, what is the purpose of your book? Mm -hmm. And and who is actually gonna read it? Mm -hmm. You know, who's gonna read your book and you know, why? Why would they read it? What are they what's in it for them? And I think that that's probably one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they go ahead and they think, right, I'm just gonna write, 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 write. And you know, some people do come to me with completed manuscripts, but the book is no structure, it's got no purpose. Um, they don't even know who they've written the book for. Yeah. So then it's very difficult to market that yeah. book. Yeah. You know, it's like creating a product and then going, oh, well, who am I gonna sell this to yeah. now? So with the Inspire Book Workshops, it's all about understanding who are you creating this product for? Who are you creating this book for? And why are you creating it? Yeah. 
And then we can start filling in all the pieces and understanding what actually needs to go in the book. Yeah. So if people uh, need a different option, you have two other options right now to the mm -hmm. live workshop, what are they? Yes, so uh, what I should mention is the live workshop, which uh, was a two-day intensive. I've now made three days. Okay. And I've done that deliberately because some people didn't want to stay up till one or two o'clock in the morning. Doing <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I give. It, it, made, day, it made day two challenging. <laughs> So that's the main reason why I've made it a three day okay. is so that you can do more of the exercises actually in the workshop. Okay. Um, but I have also added to the curriculum because I did um, a TED talk um, a few months ago and I realized that, um, you know, one of the, of course, one of the marketing strategies for, for marketing the book is getting on the stage. Yes. And so it seems um, practical to add that to the curriculum okay. that you can, um, you know, once you've planned your book and you know uh, the audience for your book, then you know the audience okay. for the stage. Okay, I'm going to move you along. What are the other two options? The other two options are um, a four week webinar and a 16-week webinar. Now, the four-week webinar is the, the mirror for the live workshop, right? Correct. Correct. We cover the same things. Yes. And that's once a week? Correct. And then the 16-week webinar, what's different about that? So the 16-week webinar is so you can get the first draft of your book complete. Oh, okay. Because I, I had a lot of people say to me, you know, at either at the end of the three-day workshop or at the end of the four-week introductory webinar, say, thanks so much, I have a whole plan for my book, I know exactly what I'm going to write chapter by chapter, all I need to do now is the writing, and I go, okay, great, see you in a few months, and then I never hear from them ever again, Yes. Um, and this is the trap that we all fall into, that, you know, unless we have some accountability of actually getting that writing done, yeah. it doesn't happen. So the 16-week webinar is all about every single week, you have to check in with your homework wow yeah okay so if somebody is interested in registering i know we're starting right up in january with new web uh, workshops and webinars how do they register for one the easiest thing is to go to inspireabook.com and there is a tab under workshops and webinars that give you all the information and registration details um, you can also go to information talks info talks um, and uh, I'd highly recommend if you're in Vancouver area to come to a live talk um, because you actually get to meet some of the published authors, get to meet some of the people that have even in the process right now. So it's kind of nice to actually join the community. So the live talks info sessions are free. Yes. They're in Vancouver and I know you've had one already and it is uh, has been live streamed so it's on Facebook. Where can they view that? On the info page of the website the video is actually there. Great. So you can like, come along to uh, a live session where you can you know, be part of the community, ask your own questions. If you're in Texas, you perhaps don't <laughs> want to visit Vancouver at this time of year, so, <laughs> so watch the video on the same page. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. This is the first of four videos we're going to be offering. This was an introductory overview, so be sure and check back. We have uh, ones coming on each of the individual parts where Julie will give us more detail.